Hey guys, Cam's performance. So this is what's supposed to be in uh, Ford LT4110. I think it's just a standard 4000, not low center of gravity. <laughs> it's close to the same size as the backhoe, maybe a little bit smaller. I mean, it's definitely not a 3000. Anyways, we're going to, we're in the middle of servicing the hydraulic fluid. So that is your rear end slash hydraulic system. And that's, you can see it dripping. Right there is where the fill plug goes. This is bucket number two of nastiness coming out. She has bucket number one. Gross. did an oil change and filter and all that on it. Anyways, I got some VP tractor fluid or VP Ultra. Usually these older tractors aren't too picky about what kind of fluid they get. Like the newer stuff, if it's off by one grade and you're screwed. So, anyways, while that's draining, I guess I could show you or walk you through some of the stuff all these levers and gadgets do. So, this one right here, that's your PTO engage and disengage. This is your first through fourth and reverse. The other one over there is your high and low. Clutch, steering arm, uh, incredibly complicated steering system. Hydraulic pump that's driven off the back of the crank, off the flywheel. This here is where that and that are where the these do accept a bucket. That's where they bolt up to. I'm kind of wondering that's where this the other. Uh, I don't know if you can see it from here. There's a knob or another rod right there. I haven't figured out what that goes to yet. This right here, that level there, these hoses go to like uh, hydraulic rippers. You can engage and disengage them with that handle there. These do have hydraulic hookups or adapters to them. Uh, clutch rod. Um, I've had to remake that twice now. This time around, it's just a piece of all thread. And I had my dad braise it together instead of welding it. It's not as harsh. And so far, so good. That was about, that was middle of summer, so what, July? So take just a standard PH8A4 filter, or 30001 uh, pure leader. Power steering. Generator, your tack is driven off the back of the generator. These two wires here go to your voltage regulator. Oil, uh, updraft carb, distributor, timing adjustment. Starter, obviously. Uh, starter solenoid. Spinning brakes. And you can put a, a rod through these. Or I think these actually take a clip. Anyways, you hook them together to where it doesn't steer or have steering brakes. It's just plain brakes. This is your e-brake lock. You pull this, push the pedal down, pull this up and turn it. And it locks one or the other differential lock and on this too if you have that you can see the hole here you have the, the bar or pin through there whatever you want to call it and you have this pulled up and locked and it'll lock both uh, differential lock e-brake this is your PTO speed here so it's slowing it down 
Speed it up. Your engagement's over here. Make sure you have the clutch in or in neutral. Hydraulic control. Up and down. Yeah. Um, this is the only one I've ever seen with this top. And I don't think it's homemade because it's got a Ford tractor stamp right on it. Anyway, mine's supposed to be the one on the end there at the bottom. 4110. I don't think it is. I think it's 3400, but who knows? I really don't think this is made specifically for this tractor. It doesn't line up on the axle rails. Well, I'll come back when it's time to fill her up, so I'll be back in a minute. Fun. Alright, so here's back your differential. This is your fill for the diff slash hydraulic. Um, this is a 7 8 we just pulled it off and there was no seal in there. So no wonder water has been getting in. You put an O-ring on it, better than nothing. Easier than just a flat washer. So as nasty as that thing is, I am going to go ahead and flush it out with some tranny fluid. Reason being, transmission fluid is a detergent, meaning it is a cleaner. So it also has lubrication properties, but it's more of a cleaner than anything. So it's not going to get all of it out, or I doubt it'll even get half of it out. But it's better than nothing. You want red or strawberry? No, uh, reddish strawberry. Hold that bucket. Not even a quarter. Huh? Roughly a quarter. Yeah. Hmm? I'm the camera to do that. Anyways, if yours is nasty, flush it out with motor oil, training fluid, something. Preferably training fluid is a detergent. You could pour this on a piece of a spot of dirty concrete. You wipe that up, that section of concrete will be immaculately clean. Alright, well, once again, we'll be right back when we go to fill it. Alright, so on the drain plug, I believe those are supposed to be the same as what's up here. Mine had a pipe plug in it, 5 8 head. Now, this one up top is a 7 8 Again, the seal is supposed to be a washer the same diameter as the outer machined edge and the same inner diameter as the threads. So, we have five gallons of fluid here. According to the book, it holds 23 and a half quarts, which is just shy of six gallons. Probably don't have enough, we'll see. Um, I poked the hole on the top of mine here to keep it full help it keep it from glugging, anti-glug. We'll see the bottom of the funnel's cut off or doing massive quantities of fluid.
All right, so to check the fluid level, you can't just shine a light down there and look. I mean, you could, but it's not going to tell you anything. Just fire it up. That one. Hmm. Lift it all the way up here, all the way up to the up position. Once this is all the way up, tractor running, supposed to pull this plug out. If anything comes out, you're good. If not, you need more. Don't be afraid to work on them. They're simple old tractors. They're actually kind of fun to work on. <laughs> 